Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck and today we are looking at adaptations in animals. Now obviously lots of different animals live in different climates. We have animals such as polar bears which live in the cold climate like the arctic and we have animals like camels which live in the warm um, climate of deserts. Now we need to know how, of, uh, how these animals adapt to live in these certain climates. Now first of all we'll start off with animals that live in cold climates and the first thing we need to know is surface area to ratio. So uh, the surface area to volume uh, ratio is where you lose you lose body through your body surface, which is mainly the skin, and the amount of energy you lose is closely linked to your surface area to volume ratio. Now the animals which live in a cold climate are usually bigger animals. Now this is so that you can keep their um, surface area to volume ratio as small as possible, so they can hold on to the um, the body heat that they manage to have. Now there are other ways that they can also adapt to live in these cold climates and one of these includes um, fat blubber or insulation. And if you think about a seal or something which lives in the Arctic, they have a lot of blubber and fat which keeps them um, warm during uh, throughout the winters and the summers as well. Um, so they also have thickly skinned areas of their body, like their ears, and uh, this, is, this is to reduce energy loss. So obviously a lot of this is to reduce energy loss. Um, but as I said about the insulation, the fat layer w can also provide a food supply um, and, they also, and they build up all of this fat in the summer um, when it's a little bit warmer than in the winter when it is really, really cold. Um, they can live off their body fat through the winter and that's when there is no, um, barely any food at all. So we've also got to think now about how um, animals can survive in dry climates, maybe where there isn't as much water. Now if you think about a camel or something with a hump that stores fat, is that's wa not water, lots of people um, have a misconception that it's water, but they store fat and that's for food. Um, but it, the biggest challenges if you live in a desert are coping with the lack of water and stopping um, body temperature from getting too high. Now if you think about, um, a, a, there's quite a lot of small animals in a desert and this is so they can have a large surface area to volume ratio and they may have something like big ears and large extremities which can let out um, a lot of heat so they can reduce, uh, so they can have more energy loss. Um, so also they find ways, of, they have to find ways of keeping cool because if you sweat in this heat then you'll lose water and obviously water is hard to find in the desert. So they adapt their behaviour to keep cool. Um, so that means that instead of uh, our routine where we're active during the day, normally um, uh, animals which live in a desert will typically be active at night instead of being active in the day. So we've done all about dry climates and cold climates, but the last thing we need to know is about camouflage. And that's another type of adaptation which isn't linked with climate, but most animals, uh, well not all most, but quite a few animals do have cam uh, camouflage to protect themselves from predators. Um, if you think about a chameleon, for example. So if you think about if you live in a rainforest, you might um, have the camouflage of green so you can blend in with the surroundings. Or if you live in um, as like a polar bear, they're white so they can blend in with the white, um, the white of the snow. And this is basically how um, lots of animals protect themselves from their predators, which may eat them, and um, that they blend in so they're harder to find. Now, although it sounds very simple, um, this is something that you do need to know. So, thank you very much for watching. Can you please subscribe to my channel? And I will be doing a video soon on adaptation in plants, so make sure you watch that. Thank you and goodbye.